Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Baldur's Gate 3. Once again, I had to split recordings, so this is post-recorded, but I hope you enjoy the video. A waypoint down here, interestingly. Trust your secrets to the night. Deliver the Night Mother's mercy upon her enemies. Shroud yourself in blackest night. I actually didn't hear what the shadow said. Shadow fell entrance. This must be the last step. I need to pray. Only by Lady Shah's grace did we even make it this far. Leave it to our press. All right. No need to dash in ahead of me. I'm ready. Really? That was fast. Some prayers are answered more quickly than others. Let's continue. Okay, Derek. Still breathing, despite everything. Your party is gathered. You are ready. Or so you hope. Let me just save my game here. Seeming point of no return. Sure, let's go. Your party is gathered. Yep. As you step into the silent water, a foreign dread travels through you. It curls its way up your leg, squeezing tight. <laughs> This does look like the shadow fell. Dark maelstrom of the shadow fell, but the shadow fell nonetheless. Lady Shah. I can feel her all around. This is her domain. This is the shadow fell. You did well. Better than I would have credited you with. Now, hurry along and bear witness to my masterpiece. This is the Dark Lady's domain. He does not belong here. Um. I cleared the way for this place, not for you. Why shouldn't I just kill you instead of letting you interfere? Raise one finger to me, and I'd sunder you like lightning would a rotten oak. Now, enough dullard questions. Follow me. Everybody leveled up. Let's... Softest push could send me drifting away. We all have permanent featherfall. So I'm gonna level everybody up. Because I think I can do that here. We'll do a save beforehand. But we got enough XP to level up, and I think I'm probably gonna need it, whatever we do. Level six wizard. One level four spell slot. Undead Thralls. Additional Undead. When you use Animate Dead, you can raise an additional corpse. Creatures created with Animate Dead have additional hit points equal to your wizard level and your proficiency bonus is added to their damage. 
cool. And we get animate dead, so I'm glad I never learned it. So, two more level three spells. I'm heard touch is cool, but I probably don't want to be that close to people. Haste is nutty. I think we go slow. And then... I'm tempted to do slow and haste, to be perfectly honest. Hypnotic pattern, haste and slow. We're also going to spend a bunch of... Money. Also, let's do that for now, because I want to see what I can summon. I can do a mud method, ice method, or an azir. Okay. Do we want Blight, which is a shitload of damage on one spell, or do we want a minion? I think we go minion. I think I'm gonna go minion. Hey buddy. So we're gonna fire Dwarf with us, I will take it. Alright, cool. So, I've set all this up, we have our Azair out. Now we level up our next character, shall we? Freedom of Movement, Death Ward, ba Banishment, and Guardian of Faith. Starion. Time for you to level up too, bud. Your agility lets you dodge out of the way of certain spells. When a spell or effect would uh, deal half damage on a successful dexterity saving throw, it, takes, it deals no damage if you succeed and only half if you would fail. Fantastic. Evasion is very, very good. Then we have Minthara. Second level spell slot unlocked, and we get... If you hit an enemy with an opportunity attack, your movement speed increases by 15 feet on your next turn. That's cool. Alright, I've sort of run bars out, so it's time to go. I do kind of love Featherfall. This is crazy, by the way. The music is amazing. The Everything about this is amazing. Oh, 
Balthazar. Come to add more bars to my cage? Or perhaps to lead this would-be Justicia's blade directly to my heart? I invite you. Keep more sins upon your head. My retribution will be all the sweeter for them. All this time, and you still failed to appreciate the gifts I bestowed on you, Aiden. Sad to see a thing of beauty not recognize its own worth. But General Thorn, he appreciates you, and he wants you. It's a person. Down. So I am here to whisk you back to him. Catherick. I welcome the sight of him after these hundred years. He whose immortality I supply with my very soul. General Thor. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior for him, but just in case, I've taken some precautions. Keep back. It will take quite some concentration to secure Aelin for her little journey. I stand with you, Shadowheart. Slay the Night Song and take your place as a Dark Justicia. Hmm. A Night Song's a person? Belsler, this is an affront to the weave itself. Person? Please. You insult her. You insult me. Aelin is so much more than that. Oh. She is an Asimar, bound to a soul cage of my creation, and lending her immortal strength to General Thor. Her power, his will, and my genius, an unsurpassable feat. Ramblings most unsane. Poor Balthazar, for maggots ate his brain long ago. Hold your tongue, Aelin, or I'll take it away from you again. And you, no more questions, no more interference. Fly at me, you fool. You cannot stop what is to come. Let us make short work of this. This could be a tough fight. Can I spell it? Yeah, sure. Do you Sonic Backlash too? That was sweet. Simultaneously, can I spell Backlash? Did I get poison there? Uh, I did. That's unfortunate. But, at the same time... Slow. Slow, slow. Actually, you know what I should do? Is we should do... Slow. Slow, 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 slow. Beautiful. Up here. Um, is it better to kill? Balthazar? Let's have a look at what he's got. Undead Ward Aura. Allied Undead have 30 feet are resistant to bludgeoning, classing, and slashing. That sucks. Afflicted Entity is resistant to bludgeoning. Okay, so he is resistant. He's hastened for three turns. Aura of Hate deals an additional three piercing damage. Dealt melee weapons. Okay. And he has a paladin level, seemingly. So we want him dead, but he's already gone, so... Let's go for the Apostate Destroyer, I guess? Cool. 
cool. Searing smite, please. Unfortunately, you missed, but whatever. There are so many enemies here. Okay, um... Can I get in melee range with him? Surely if I do that jump? And then get to here. He saved, that's unfortunate. For now, let's do some killing. That should do. Cool. casting I reckon he saves that nope I take it back he didn't unfortunate critical it's fine So many undead right here. It will be a kindness to put an end to your follies. Counter spell a cloud kill. I failed the counter spell. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Well, shit. Take the attack. Unfortunate, but what you gonna do? Unfortunate. Would have been nice if it worked though. How did they keep it in a star rain? a bit out. We go you first. I think we get everyone in that. He has bone chill on me. Cannot regain hit points. Well, that's fucked. Um, at least I healed everyone else, I suppose. Unleash me. 
I really want to kill him, is the issue. You gonna try the same thing again? They're trying to shove me off the edge, the bastards. Good. Group up. You shall live this. Nice. Oh, I died. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm also blind still, am I? No, not currently. Am I blind? I am blind. Fuck. Do -do -do -do. Fucking lost it. I didn't lose concentration, thankfully. Taking up position. Nice. Why do I have disadvantage? That should be straight roll now. Nice. Nice. I can see you if I get close enough. Nice, and she's blessed. Beautiful. Am I still blinded? Fuck, am I still blinded? <laughs> nice, I guess. Critical miss sucks balls. Crit. Oh, 
15 slashing, 51 radiant. That was a hit. Um, give myself more AC. Balthazar is dead. Might be able to res him next turn. Yourself. Astarian's fucking blind, I need him. <laughs> Critical? Really? Yeah, Sonic Bash Flash. You still fucking blind dude you are. I think I can action dash. like it. Need to resurrect you if I can. Come as close to the edge as you can. I hate this with a passion. Still fucking blind. <laughs> Starion's down. How did he save a charm? Really? Uh, first things first, let's go her. Inventory. Okay, I'm alive, so that's something. The issue is he might go down again. I mean, hope, I guess. He went down. That's fine. But I should be able to get him back up again. Okay. You. Mass healing word? No. Cure wounds. Take 
gonna try and heal him next turn. Okay, I got everybody up, I think. So if I can live another round, Jesus, how do they kill me so quickly? Okay, Astarian. Okay, she can kill these two easily, theoretically. Nice. Nice. Nice healing word. He very well might go down again. Got to press on. Let's run back just in case. Yep, yeah, like that. <laughs> Am I still blind? I'm no longer blind. That's something, I guess. Oh, I don't have a bonus action. Fuck. That Let's take a second one, too. Oh, I'm encumbered immediately. Rambling notes in a spidery jagged hand full of volume, they speak of a soul cage binding the life force of one to that of another. A crude drawing shows two figures side by side. The one on the left appears to have a dagger protruding from its chest, while the one on the right has a corresponding wound on its chest. Interesting. I really want to take a long rest so that I can raise him as a corpse, because I think that will be funny. But, let's read this last... Nope, this isn't a thing over here. Alright, cool. has drawn his final rancid breath. <laughs> A pity it was not my hand that brought it about. Instead, it was you. You, who have come to seek the praise of your wicked goddess. You, who have come to drive a dagger through my heart. Not a dagger. A spear. My Lady Shah's spear. Her fate is mine to seal. Let me handle this. Ever. The fate you seal is your own. To be a dark justicia is to turn your heart from everything but loss. You will know no love, no joy, only servitude, until, of course, your mistress inevitably discards you. And there is much she does not tell you. A terrible blood price that may extend beyond my own death. You feel Shadowheart bristling. This is important to her. But your bond is strong. 
You may yet be able to sway her from the path of duty to the path of light. And Night Song is not blind to your conflict. Behind that raging heart is the restless beat of one who knows too well that her fate hangs in the balance. Um. Yeah. Well, well, well. What's that I sense? A spear intended for my heart? Empowered by your goddess, I. Empowered to kill the child of a god. Do you know what I am, little assassin? For I know you. A lost child. Frightened by wolves in the dark. What did you say? Much has been promised to you, hasn't it? But what has been taken from you? What do you know of your own heart? Your own life? I sense more in you than you know. Whatever you think you know of me won't matter once I become who I'm meant to be. Um... Yeah, let's finish this ritual. More power. More power. More power. All the power. Child, after all, and I am. I am. It is done. You have proven yourself. You have answered my highest calling. My chosen. My warrior. My dark justicia. No more hiding. Let me show you. Let all see how you have served me, Shadowheart. And how you have been rewarded. Your pain is now your power. Wield it true. My charge must be cleansed. You shall be my instrument in ridding it of the impure. Then you shall take up the mantle as its new leader first. Hunt down the traitor, Ketherick Thorn. He shunned my embrace. He let my armies be slaughtered. He used my domain to safeguard his wretched life. But now, without the Night Song, he's vulnerable. End him. In my name, Shadowheart. Let him see you in your splendor before you shut his eyes forever. Once he is vanquished, Baldur's Gate awaits. Your holy work will continue there, where you first learned of my embrace. Take up my spear again and go forth. Let the cleansing begin. Finally! Through me her will is enacted. Her shadows strengthen and the darkness takes all. I am her chosen. Sweet. No more protection from the shadows. Shars will be done. <laughs> Yeah. 
You received four items. I've done it. I've actually done it. A dark justicia chosen by Lady Shark. It almost doesn't feel real. What comes next? I wanted to talk to you about that. Lady Shah has bestowed a great honor upon me. But it isn't without a cost, it seems. She expects me to fill my heart up with love for her alone, leaving no room for others. No room for us. Hmm. Yeah, I understand. You have a calling now. I won't get in the way. If you're truly sure. I'm not even certain myself. Um. I want whatever we can still share. Then I can only hope Lady Shah will prove lenient if I try to keep a little piece of my heart from her. She has. And I must continue to prove myself worthy of her favor. The apostate Kethrick Thorn still lives. That will soon change if I have any say in the matter. Lady Shah's church in Baldur's Gate has yet to be cleansed. A rot has set in amongst the leadership, one that I must cut out. Even once all that is done, more will be asked of me, no doubt. The holy work will not be done until the Night Singer's eternal darkness is restored. There is one other matter. As the Chosen of Lady Shah, it is time to carry myself like one. What does that mean exactly? I still carry certain vestiges of a novice. That will no longer do. If I am to lead in Lady Shah's name, I must look the part. Leave it to me. You'll see exactly what I mean soon enough. Fair enough. I want to talk about all of this. Uh, let's talk about the first one. Of course. How are you? Better than I thought possible. I have done as Lady Shah wished, and she has rewarded me in turn. All is well. Or almost. The Night Singer wants my heart. All of it. Uh, let's talk about what's happened to Fine. us. What's on your mind? How am I holding up? No notes. You've exceeded my every expectation. Hey. Considering we've been through, I think I was very lucky to find such favorable company. And attractive company too, no less. You have a weird definition of attractive. I am a tiny, old, grizzled necromancer gnome, but okay. Let's look at what Shadowheart got. Dark Justigar's helmet. That's the same, I think. Dark Justigar's half plate. Shah's umbra. While obscured, the wearer has a bend on stealth check. Shah's protection. When the wearer has shield of faith active, reduce all income damage by two and reflect damage received back to the attacker, who takes one to four necrotic damage. Advantage on constituting saving throws, and we have Star Shah's Aegis. That's fucking sick. And the spear, Shah's Spear of Evening. Shah's Blessing, you get advanced on saving throws while lightly or heavily obscured. This weapon deals an additional 1d6 to creatures that are lightly or heavily obscured. Blind immunity, the wearer cannot be blinded. It's a plus 3 weapon and you get Shah's Embrace. Or Shah's Darkness, so which is... Create a dark shroud that heavily obscures and blinds creatures within. Creatures cannot make ranged attacks into or out of it. But I bet I can, because I'm immune to blinded. I can just see in the dark. That's so cool. 8 to 18 damage. So 
So it does 1d... I'm doing it one-handed, not two-handed, right? So it's 1d6, not 1d8. So it's 1d6 plus 6. So at a minimum, it's 7 damage. Um, at a maximum, it's 12 damage. But... If we're fighting in the dark, then I get an additional d6 on top of that. So it makes it 8 to 18. Okay. I'm probably not stabbing many people with it anyway. But the idea of getting Shah's Darkness is pretty cool, I must admit. Shadow teleport, teleport to an unoccupied, obscured spot. Once per short rest, she just says a Shadow Teleport. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay. Let me redo the bar a bit, I guess. Also got Maiming Stripe. Possibly maims the target. You can't move. Flying creatures can't be maimed. And Edge of Darkness. Create a cloud of darkness while you attack. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Well, she got an upgrade. I could probably get rid of this bow on her, honestly. We also, Dark Jessica's Gauntlet, so I might swap these out. Umbral Attack. Your weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 necrotic damage, and you have plus 1 to strength saving throws, and you get de Beckoning Darkness. Curse a creature to be haunted by darkness. It takes 2 to 16 necrotic damage if it enters or starts its turn in a lightly or heavily obscured... I'm sorry? Well, this is what the, the other dudes were doing, right? It's a level 4 necromancy spell that doesn't take a level 4 slot by the look of it. Why can't I move that? There we go. Yes, it doesn't actually take a slot. It's just a once per long rest, station. assume. It actually doesn't say, but I don't have a fourth slot and I can cast it, so... Like, it doesn't say... I can just do this once per turn. Oh, she got a fucking glow up, eh? Uh, turn undead. Shadow teleportation, beckoning darkness. Shah's Darkness, Darkness Cloud, and Aegis. Okay. I like how good Shadow Heart is at this point. Holy crap. I'm so happy I did this with Shadow Heart. Well. So, Shah's chosen walks among us. Ah, how lucky we are. Still. If this means we can take a shot at Ketrick, it may well be worth it. Hmm. What do you two intend to do about Cazador's ritual? Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Cazador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate where he hosts the city's high society. I don't know if you perform the ritual there. It feels too public. It risk exposure. I suppose. <laughs> that giant gothic monstrosity was inhabited by vampires this whole time? I know. Subtle, isn't it? Um... Raphael's playing a dangerous game, giving you Mephistopheles' secrets. Mephistopheles is one of the lords of the Nine Hells. Raphael is not going to let any ire be tracked back to him. Perhaps Raphael even will gain from setting us on this course, who can say? True. All I know is I need to unravel the secrets around Cazador's ritual. And I can only do that in Baldur's Gate. That makes sense. Despite my antipathy toward Shah and her devotees, I feel honored to fight alongside a dark Justicia. Their power is legendary. A disparate collection of vagabonds and... Shatterheart. Strength. She is tolerable, but her faith in the Lady of Loss is poisonous. The very... They would have... I have... I can tell you this. When the okay. trivial... That's the same dialogue we've already had. 
Uh, okay, so let's leave the shadow fell, I think. We have an ambush there. We have to assault Moonrise Tower. We have the Waning Moon. And then we have Exploration. And I might actually do some Exploration before we, uh... Before we assault the tower, because I want to get a couple of levels apart from anything else. But let's talk to everybody. I have a lot on my mind. It was unsightly watching Shadowheart slay the daughter of Saluna. I didn't think she would sink so low. Hmm. That surprises me. Surprises me quite a bit. Hey, Gail. I expect that from Gail, not from... Brave choice. To kill the child of one god at the behest of another. Shadowheart's loyalty plums darker depths than I anticipated. Let's hope the fruits of this cruel labor are to her advantage. And ours, of course. Interesting. Gale was less disappointed than Lazelle, interestingly. Oh, my favorite. Ooh. How much farther can I go? Let's talk to Shadowheart. Good. I was just starting to miss the sound of your voice. Um. Fine. What's on your mind? Of course. May I have a kiss? Well, don't stand in ceremony. Come here. Look at that. Lady of loss. I can still get some. That's all you need. Hey, Scratch. Why are you glowing? Cool. And let's go talk to... Minthara. You wish to consult me? Yeah, it's battle. Um, I don't think Lizel particularly wanted to assault the capital. I mean, she likes fighting, but otherwise, Shadowheart has something to say. Notice anything new? This hairstyle is closer to Lady Shah's own image. I did it to honor her. What do you think? Looks good. Um, yeah, I love it. Good. I did this for Lady Shah. For myself. But I had hoped you'd like it as well. Yeah, I do. It looks better. No one else has anything to say by the look of it. So... All right, so we had a log rest. We talked to people. It is gonna be the end of the episode. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Where I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do.